Hello folks and welcome back to another lesson, Silver Cheers Pure Massacre, and all these patrons voted for it, so thank you very much indeed for your support. Now let's talk shop, tuning, low E goes down to D, so we are in drop D. Tune your sixth string basically to your fourth string. Tones, I know that the um, tone on the album is cleaner than this actually. So if you can get a much more spanky clean tone, then you're going to be close to the album, but I just like this one. And then game wise, we are going with the Thorpey FX gunshot. And that sounds like this. And these are quite high output pickups as well. So that obviously factors in these are bare knuckle um, pickup silos. So those are the bits and pieces I'm using. And this track only has about four riffs in it, I think. So I'm going to show you those and I'll show you how they all hang together because it's um, the arrangements cool. So let's go. First part. <laughs> It goes like that. So subtle difference is the first time you play it, you play. You'll note that my third finger is here, right? It's on the third fret on the B string. You won't necessarily hear that that clearly on the album, but if you see live performances, you'll always see him fretting. <laughs> you'll see him throw that in, right? And he's basically keeping this D5, or it's a D sus2 shape really, because you've got the open E. But he's only actually playing the D string and the G. That's why when you see this tabs a lot of the time, you'll only see like two, two strings in play. But if you over overstep, right, and hit the B string, you're going to get something weird happening. And live, he actually plays this later in the tune as well. You will actually hear. You'll really subtly hear that being played. It's almost like an overtone, okay? So put that to bed, go for that as your shape, right? Um, you don't have to, but um, I would. So the first time it's... I'm gonna stop there because um, it's a, that's only played it in the beginning. The rest of the time it's... So I'm going to go through it slowly. It comes in on the four and. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have uh, two open strings. And then you've got this um, uh, zero, two thing happening, right? You go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All your fingers off. Well, I mean, in reality, you actually just take your first finger off. Back on for the uh, second bar, and that is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, up to the fifth fret. And off again, okay? And then you're just going to repeat this round. The only difference is you do a hammer on the beginning. So it's three, four. Like that, which is pretty much what we just did, right? So again, chord shapes.
check that out if you want. Next up, we have some distortion in this riff. <laughs> pretty straightforward because it's all one fingered chords which you know drop D unlocks for us right so we have zero three zero three zero and then a C shape right <laughs> that's the first bar second bar very similar at that point there you go five seven and you can stay with your first finger or you could do the first and third fingers, whichever you find comfiest, right? So slowly the riff is three, four. That's it, right? Then um, you go back into this. On the album, I think it goes clean there, but um, live, it stays dirty throughout. So, you know, pick whichever you want to do. Um, so you're going to repeat that around and again into. <laughs> round that twice and then it goes into the chorus, right, which is your third riff. Now, I've tabbed this. <laughs> that right because that is what he generally plays live but on the album I'm not too sure that that is played I think it might just be one fingered chords again right which you can totally do so I've given you the option it's five 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 seven eight if you want to do the chord shape that's what it is if not then just do the um, the low three right and do so let me clean that up and we'll do it um, slowly. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, whack, whack, change. Here I've gone. So you do like a little pull off, third fret to zero. And then cover all the strings, right? And do. And you could palm mute that as well, right? So with the distortion, it sounds a little bit cooler. Like that. And then you're going to go. That's the same as before. But then you go up to the eighth fret. And play twice there, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And then back into that. play one of those and then into this again and then you go back around and at this point you go um, back into back into the verse okay so the entire chorus bit would be this Uh, now, before we go to the fourth riff, there's a subtle variation where we have. You've got that at the end. I mean, it's super subtle. Rather than playing those two, I think the distortion might be on here, actually. It's, it's that, right? Two wax. And then you're into this part. That plays around three times. I should have just played it all through, shouldn't I? But the fourth time goes. It builds up like that, okay? And then it goes into, into the second riff, right? So we have even flow. So down, up, whack, whack, down. 
there. I'm actually muting with my uh, right hand and my left hand there. So down, up, whack, whack, down, down, and then C, third fret. And I've tabbed um, you playing like four strings, right? Three, five, five, five. Because I do hear that. in the mix, right? So I would go for that full chord there. Now when we get to this bit, there's a really cool fill. That is awesome. So make sure you nail that. It is um, from the third fret. Down, up, whack, whack. And then we go down, up, chug, chug, down, down. Like that, right? So, the whole thing slowly. Three, four. So good. Play that three times and then you go to the C and play. into that. At this point you know all the riffs but uh, for you know the sake of completeness uh, you come out of that and then there's a verse with no guitar you're just playing into the chorus And then you play that round again. So I think that goes around a couple of times. And every fourth bar is that, you know, that bit at the end. And then there's a slight variance here where we go. got that. Eighth fret to the tenth fret and then you play. <laughs> so slide and then two more when you get there, right? And then that round four times to end and then this is the outro which goes. Done. Hope you enjoyed that one. I did. See you soon.